Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mao here. Yes, you are looking at it. In my hands, I have the SJRC Z5 mini folding GPS quadcopter. Now, before opening the box, let's just read the key features very, very quickly. It's folding, it has a GPS return to home, it has point of interest, that means the quadcopter will circle around a point of interest. It has a waypoint flight. Uh, I have to download a map for that. Uh, we'll give it a try. It has an active track feature, that means it will track a person but not follow probably. It has the same thing like SJRC F11 I reviewed. Uh, it has a hand gesture, so you can do with the right hand, not left hand, and get a photo done get a photo taken and it has about 15 minutes of flight time well I'm not worried about the flight time because this is the three battery version I have got three batteries in there that's total of 45 minutes for me to actually fly and test it now one more thing you do want to remember is this is not a brushless I can see the brushed motors it's a little bit windy today I'm not sure how the brushed quadcopter GPS quadcopter will behave but this is the best time to test its GPS position hold capabilities and its performance before I take it outside the box please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon so you stay updated for all the upcoming uploads so here we are now when you look at the picture they actually made the motors in a way that from this angle they do look like you know brushless motors but that's just cheating man it's not brushless these are brushed motors in there all right so we have a quadcopter let me just unfold it anyway uh, let me say one and two three and four so after full unfolding this little white baby looks actually good all right then we have a radio control there's a phone holder here these antennas I'm sure they are just fake I don't see any antenna line going in there so basically they are fake so we have a radio and of course three batteries charging cable spare blade so I'm just gonna pull out one battery okay and install it and see if I need to insert a TF card yes let me find the TF card and we'll be ready for flight all right let's install the phone in here and uh, I don't want to keep the antennas up okay because they're, they're just gonna bother my view on the phone all right and basically they are you know fake antennas so who cares all right and that would be SJRC GPS Pro and uh oh I don't like this thing they always have this thing if you want to actually go for the Wi-Fi they start playing the advertisement very smart so I have SJRC GPS Pro Wi-Fi I'm connecting to that I'm gonna record the screen as well control okay keeping the drone level okay pick up the drone from the back and rotate your body in one full 360 degree circle I did put the camera down and rotate in 360 degree I did okay set the drone back on the ground awesome close one moment I think I didn't unfold this arm completely okay now it's completely unfold and here we go let's see how well it will hold the GPS position mm-hmm looks like nice it's struggling with the wind the GPS position is sweet actually very nice hold okay I'm just gonna fly it around now right now I'm flying around and it is very very little angle of attack so I'm gonna add more add more that's the full speed all right so you have seen it no don't go down that's the full speed on this quadcopter so once again you can say that's the first speed hardly going forward because of the winds okay second speed third speed okay so three levels of speed flies really nice sweet flight performance 
Controls are very nice, very good. Basically, even a kid can fly it. So what we're gonna do is test the auto return to home and we'll test it against the wind, okay? And I'll put it a little higher. Okay, it's there. Press auto return to home. Okay, it did come back in the winds. I actually took off very close to the car. So I'm not sure the landing will be on the car or not. Almost hit my car. And landed. Awesome, man. Now that's not much deviation. I can tell you, I actually took off from here. That's not much deviation. That's a very, very nice return to home. All right, so now I will fly it and uh, we'll take some pictures and shots as well. So here we go. As usual, of course, I will make my pose right next to my car. Come closer, baby. Winds have stopped, which is a very good thing. So I'm gonna take a picture. Ooh, that was a nice sound right there. All right. And I'm gonna take my picture here. Very nice. I'm gonna take a picture of that area, like river. So I go a little higher. Got it. Looks like a good shot. Got it. Now let's try the video and see how the video goes. Okay, that annoying beeping again. When you shoot the video, it just keeps beeping never stops beeping which is very very annoying actually not bad for me i can still ignore it zoom shot i mean zoom out shot i have to hold the button that dial to tilt the camera down but it does tilt down so i'm gonna tilt all the way down Okay, and I'm gonna give myself a drony shot. Right here. Okay. Sun in my eyes. I gave myself a drony shot. I mean, now rocket shot. I still have a half battery. I'm gonna check how far I can go before the image freezes, okay? So I'm gonna go higher and fight the winds, go far forward. My image is already frozen. Okay, it's back, it's back. And that's just like 50 meters. Not even 50 meters, man. I still have image. Okay, the quadcopter actually stopped and it's coming back because there's fencing. So I'm just gonna press auto return to home. It's not coming back. Oh, it's coming back. Yes, it is coming back now. It wasn't coming back. I was worried about that. But then it started coming back. So 60 meters, my image froze. That's not good. Anyway, because I am 
in a very high interference in uh, area so there are a lot of lot of uh, you know Wi-Fi's are running around man very nice view here I'll stop recording the video the quad is coming down now from where it took off so it's basically very reliable the fencing is working very well and auto return to home is awesome very little deviation man very little deviation all right the battery died so I changed the battery and we will test the panorama mode so for the panorama you have to first stop the quadcopter where you want it to be so this is my center point and I have to be standing right under it okay uh, I will come a little farther just just so I don't hit my car actually so this looks like a very good point all right and I am in the view but later I have to move a little bit inside record the video press both buttons video and photo give it a radius okay and press both buttons again all right it has started the panorama and I should be here in the center so it's doing it very slow very nice so far now the winds are coming from here it's still keeping the camera towards me which is very nice it's still keeping the camera towards me so basically the panorama is really good check this out not bad wow this is good that is a beautiful panorama all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a pose like that tuck my belly in <laughs> yay this is good now don't turn with the quad just stay like that I can still say keep the pose keep the pose still doing it awesome all right so you want to stop this panorama just touch some of the controls and it will stop very nice all right now let's say how the follow me goes so I'm just gonna put the quad here and I'm in the view click on the video recording and click on follow follow me mode but it turned the head completely away from me okay so I will shamelessly move myself in the frame and I'll try to walk away All right, seems like it's still coming with me. Let's get a little faster. It's losing me, so I'll go a little higher. It will keep me in the view. I just don't understand why it has to turn its head there. All right, then suddenly it just comes here. It gets into some of the toilet bowl movement, but it's still doing it. Not bad, not bad. It's still going. All right, we'll go the other way now. I'll make it go a little backward still following all right well this is still following and the good thing is I don't see that you know locking 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 like that kind of movement um, like was on the previous quadcopters this auto follow me is basically pretty smooth very nice now let's try the tracking feature so I'm gonna put myself in a way that the sun actually sees me nice stop recording I mean on the quad start recording click on the loss please reset the target okay draw a green square okay a green rectangle around me now I'm moving it lost me it says it lost me again draw all right move again no it's right there so it's basically losing me one moment let me try again so click on that tracking yes draw a square and move slowly it's turning it's tracking me 
Is it still tracking me? Is still tracking me? And it's lost. So it works, but not that accurate. It works, but not that accurate. You have to move very slow while you are doing auto tracking. You have to do movements very slow. I forgot to shoot one click takeoff, so I'm gonna show you right here. I was shooting a couple of shots here, so here we go. Turn on the motors, press the auto takeoff button, it rises and holds its position, which is very nice, very good for beginners. So you can fly it around. This is basically my third battery. I've been flying it around, testing it more and more for two batteries all the time. I did find that sometimes, at times, the panorama is not that good. It doesn't actually keep the camera into the panorama. I did find sometimes it doesn't have enough power. If you're coming fast and you make a quick turn, it will fall to the ground like just like this and you will have to give it a full throttle to get it up in the air see see this is what I'm talking about so if you make a quick agile turn it will fall to the ground and you have to give it a lot of throttle be ready for that and uh, well here comes the one click landing so wherever it is just press this button don't press and hold it because if you press and hold it it's an emergency motor stop and it will fall like a stone so just like this, it lands and turns the propellers off. Okay, let's see the emergency stop, all right? I'll keep it just at this height. Hey, don't go too high. I'm gonna press and hold the one-click takeoff and land button. One moment, I'm just gonna bring it more lower. I don't wanna break it. See, that's what I'm talking about. So if you are in a kind of situation where you want to actually uh, put the emergency stop to motors just press and hold the auto take off and auto land button All right, I will conclude the flight testing right here take some pictures and the last battery I'm gonna use somewhere else to get some shots mm -hmm.